Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be closing out January's budget. It is a little late, but this is just the time that I was able to get it in. So let's jump right on into the numbers. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. My name is Janelle and on here I do all things budgeting. I also include work week lunches, grocery hauls, and meal planning and lifestyle videos so if this is something that you're interested in don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we're first going to start off with my bills and let's get right on into these things okay so the first thing is my mortgage my mortgage was paid and it came out exactly what i expected 224049 electricity was budgeted at 85 it was 8468 Utilities, which is my water, sewage, trash, and our exorbitant tax fees, came out to one sixty nine seventy eight. Internet was budgeted at eighty five oh nine, but I paid ninety six sixty seven. That should come down for the next month in February because I did have to call them and renegotiate. Originally, when I like set up this plan, I, it was just supposed to stay at eighty five oh nine for the rest of my life as long as I did not move. And now it seems that every year I have to do this because I had to do that for 2023 at the beginning of the year as well too. So I'm gonna just need to keep that in my head to make sure that I'm, I have to wait until it happens first and then call them to do that. So that's where we are with that. Sorry, y'all, I'm drinking some coffee. Now next is daycare. That came out correct at 997. YouTube TV came out at 9503. ADT at 5514. And our gas bill came out to 7784. Um, currently, as I'm doing this video, like y'all, it is already summertime. I'm about to turn off the heat and have the AC running. It is crazy, y'all. It is crazy. Um, next, we're going to go over our expenses. We have five expenses, groceries. Um, actually, everything was budgeted at what I expected to budget at. Um, I did go over in gas, um, but it is what it is, y'all. It's just, it is what it is. Um, but those were my expenses. I did not pay anything in debt this month for Discover. When it comes to our income, we budgeted $6,000, which includes our rollover and then both of our incomes, but we actually brought in $6,170.76. Then we'll go over to um, our savings, and our savings was budgeted exactly the way that I had expected to, so I did do a full $200, and I put the amount of money that I was expecting to put in each of those categories. <laughs> Excuse me. Now we're gonna go up to um, our financial goals. Were we able to accomplish them? I wonder. So for our HOA, I was able to fully fund that and our HOA is paid off. We are not in debt for it, thank goodness. And then next is our medical deductible that we paid for baby girl to go to the doctor. It wasn't planned, so, you know, I thought I was going to be in debt for it. However, I did get um, a bigger commission check than expected, and I had to move some things around and just bite the bullet, and I went ahead and paid that off. So that is not a debt that we have. We charged it, we paid for it, and we are good to go. So the breakdown of our bills was 6000 income. Um, sorry, sixty one seventy and 76 cents for income. Bills was $3,816.63. Expenses was at $760. Savings at $200. And that leaves us with a buffer slash rollover of $1,394.13 for February. Now we're actually going to... All right, you guys. So we are now in my monthly spread. To kind of keep on with the numbers, we're going to go here first. So if you don't know, I do a monthly spread each month and I actually set up all of my paycheck budgets and then I just do a closeout each week. Um, but here I do a where did my money go? 
and this was kind of just like the breakdown of everything so um i started off at 157076 we added 4600 and that's how we got the income of $6170.76 um the most thing that i'm important or i wanted to share with you guys here is just the breakdown or the percentages of my income so 62% of our income went to all of our bills 12% went to our expenses, 3% went to our savings, and then nothing for budget or on budget. I do want to try and see if I can wiggle it into our um, savings to do 5%. So we'll see what happens in February, but I did do love seeing this breakdown and kind of just where our bills are, but you can tell that most of our money is going towards pretty much like our four walls. So that is where we are with that. Then we're going to go back to the spread really quickly. This is just what it looks like. I am glad to say for the most part that I have stayed pretty much on this schedule. I may have moved food around just a little bit, but I think maybe once or twice we ate out. Um, but other than that, because I want to say, um, I don't know, one of these days we ate out and I used my points on my card to just pay it off. So I didn't include it in any expense tracking or anything like that. I do just want to make sure all of you can see all of the checks here. Everything has been paid off. We were able to celebrate baby girl's birthday. I kind of, kind of wasn't off on this day, um, but um, we had to freeze these like three days. So that was weird, but here we are in Texas, y'all. We did get all of our pay and we were able to enjoy our race day. Got to spend some quality time with my husband. All right. And then lastly, we have the task that I had wrote out for myself. So, I mean, I put this here. I don't really know why, but I did prepare a bag for me and baby girl when she was going to um, the hospital for her sleep study. I did declutter one space, y'all. I cleaned out my coffee closet. Like now it is really really clean in there. There's actually, now that I'm thinking of it, one little spot up at the top, but like there isn't really like any cleaning. It's just a whole bunch of like our like reusable cups up there. So I count that as I definitely cleaned it out in the drawer. So I did declutter one space in January. I did pay our HOA like I talked about earlier, and I did get to pay for the deductible for baby girl's um doctor appointment and we were able to pay it off. In the month of January, there were two things that I was looking ahead for in February. That's my husband's birthday. And then um, I'm we, we were talking about getting zoo tickets. However, now I totally forgot that the rodeo starts in February, but I think that we will be okay because we'll probably, if we go to something, it won't actually be until March. Then um, we have Valentine's Day that I really didn't think much of in the beginning, and now I'm getting like all of these ideas, but I really do think that I won't do anything personal for me and hubby for Valentine's Day. We don't really celebrate it much anyways, but I did have like a little idea of like doing something. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how the funds look. Um, we'll probably hold off on the zoo tickets because I just literally put a lot of other money towards paying back off my unbudget expenses, that doctor bill and all of that kind of stuff. So um, we were still looking ahead. I have an idea potentially for my husband's birthday, but I won't say it too loud as I'm doing this video. He is home, so I don't necessarily want him to hear that, but he could also just go and watch any of the other videos to see what I was planning. But yeah, y'all, that is it. That is closing out the month of January. It was a successful month um, in my eyes, except for a few unbudgeted items that we had, but I was able to pay that off. So I do feel good about that. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one.